As you come into the door at the exhibition this evening, you will see an explanation of this exhibition which tells you that it is in memory of the soldiers who have lost their lives serving in Somalia as part of the African Union mission to Somalia and their comrades in the armed forces of the transitional federal government of Somalia and may they rest in peace. This exhibition is for them and it is to explain the actions of Amisom itself. And as I said, it is a very powerful message and a very powerful medium. This method of taking the one split second, one hundredth of a second, maybe even a shorter space of time, and it produces an image that has a story within it. Sometimes explaining what has happened before that moment, sometimes explaining what is about to happen, but if you look around the room, all of the images are telling their own, their own individual story. Now these images have been taken by Kate Holt, who has been a commissioned photographer, and she has been one of the professional photographers that we have used in conveying our messages. But they are also taken by some of the soldiers serving in the Amazon forces, making this exhibition a truly brothers in arms. Something where the soldier's view is given, as well as the outside view. This used to be a mission impossible. But now, it's a mission impossible. And this would not have been the case without the lives and some of those who have got made in the process. So I think it's very important to have this in memory of our dear brothers who have had to pay the ultimate price. There is fighting every day. Whenever I go outside, I am scared of being killed. My family and I live near the port in Mogadishu. Our lives are surrounded by war and suffering. I was sitting in the house with my six children. A bullet came through the window and hit my two-year-old daughter. I took her to the Amazon hospital and the doctors took out the bullet and she will be okay. It is challenging and interesting because it's been a war for 23 years and I think there's nowhere else in the world that has actually suffered such prolonged civil war or such a breakdown in Kihisi's civil society. And we thank you so much for putting up this, bring the memories of the Somalis who are trapped in this confusion, who have, who cannot express themselves, but at least you can see the pictures, they tell the entire story. <laughs>